I'm Ian Campbell and I'm the artist in residence at St George's Tron Church of Scotland. Over the course of three years I'm painting the Gospel of Luke. There'll be 24 paintings, one for each chapter, and I'm painting live here in the sanctuary. Just like my painting Our Last Supper, all the scenes I'm painting for each chapter of the Gospel of Luke will have a contemporary Glasgow setting. For chapter one, there are a number of scenes which could be fantastic paintings, but the standout moment in the chapter is one which has been painted again and again. The angel Gabriel announcing to Mary, a young bride-to-be, that she's going to have God's baby. This has often been called the Annunciation. My model for Mary Verushta is an asylum seeker from Iran. She's part of a Bible study group that Glasgow City Mission runs called New Glaswegians for folks they work with who have English as an additional language. When it came to planning the painting of this scene with the angel Gabriel and Mary, Jesus' mother, the biggest problem I had was trying to decide what a Glaswegian angel would look like. I settled on a bronze statue of an angel in the necropolis Glasgow's rather grand Victorian graveyard. The statue is situated right at the top of the hill. It's a beautiful location and a good place to stop and think, well worth a visit. Traditionally in paintings of the Annunciation, Gabriel presents Mary with lilies, which would have been a symbol of purity. But in our culture, they're more often a funeral flower, which coincides with the setting of the necropolis. Also in the background, we have the Celtic crosses. So a painting which is initially about announcing the birth of Jesus also foreshadows his death. So we have Mary and Gabriel representing both new and old Glasgow. So I'm Rachel and I am the international project worker here at Glasgow City Mission. Um, and part of my role has been to care for and support any asylum seeker and refugee that's come into Glasgow. A year or two ago I had a real prompting and just felt like God was starting to tell me just to be a bit more bold in what we do. And I really felt God say you need to start stepping out with these guys that you've built a relationship with for the last few years. Um, and start preaching um, the gospel to them. So a few of us got together, we advertised an uh, international alpha course um, and people began to start coming along and it's just people from across the country, across the world, meeting together to read the Bible together um, and look at scripture and talk about what Jesus is doing in our lives um, and that's New Glad's Agents. So within that community, one of the people that did start to come along was Farishta, um, along with her husband Mohammed, who have now been coming along um, for a good eight months now um, and are both huge contributors to the group. Um, Farishta is obviously the one that's depicted beautifully in the painting and just is one of the most phenomenal characters I've ever met. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, as you know, my name is Farishta. Um, my meaning name is Angel. I come from Iran and uh, I have been here for 10 months and uh, I volunteered at the mission every Thursday morning. Uh, I come to Bible study class in Tron as well and uh, I have a master's uh, degree in drama. Rishta was one of our quietest members for a long time until we discovered that she has a huge background in theatre um, and actually has a master's in theatre and it was through acting out the story of Ruth one week that we really began to get to know Farishta as Farishta um, as she is now, who is wild and funny, highly confident and a really gifted young lady um, and since then she's just grown from strength to strength just to show her character and her story um, which we've got to be a part of just for the last few months which is a huge privilege. So as well as studying um, and settling into Glasgow, I know one of the most important things to you and your family is your faith. Um, could you maybe tell me your favourite verse and why? Uh, my favourite verse uh, is, uh, Jesus says, uh, you, if you believe, believe and trust and uh, faith to me, you can move a mountain. Uh, this verse uh, has uh, helped me 
uh, especially uh, when I had a uh, cancer and uh, I uh, I trust it uh, Jesus uh, Jesus to heal me and he did her story is one that many many people should hear and um, just how God has done miraculous things in her life um, both in huge miracles but just also in her day-to-day -day strength as she copes with being an asylum seeker in Glasgow um, but has amazing faith throughout all of that process um, and that is free stuff.